California Governor Jerry Brown wants temporary tax increases to help erase a $9 billion deficit. And the state schools are facing some deep cuts. How can the state best address its budget problems? Well, we're joined now by former White House chief economist and now Stanford professor Michael Boskin, who joins us from Palo Alto for this edition of Deep in Debt. Welcome to In Business. Uh, tell me the agony and ecstasy of California, as you put it. Well, California is a mixed picture with a lot of problems. Uh, some parts of the state, you know, California is still first in technology and entertainment and agriculture, despite the struggles in the Central Valley. Silicon Valley is doing very well and is a, sort of an island into itself. But overall, the state's in very bad shape. It's far below the national average. Its unemployment rate's almost 11 percent, third worst to Rhode Island and Nevada. It's, uh, it's got one-third of the nation's welfare recipients with 12 percent of the population. It's really got a, a lot of other economic problems, a lot of middle-class jobs, manufacturing have been driven out of the state by excessive taxation and regulation. So we've got a lot of work to do to put California back on the right track economically. And the budget remains, uh, f has been this case for many years, but has gotten uh, considerably worse uh, in the last few years. We remain with a substantial deficit. We rely way too much on uh, very volatile sources of income, capital gains and stock mm -hmm. options, to get a lot of revenue during the boom when we get half our income taxes from the top 1%. But when there's an inevitable bust, the state's revenues collapse. They've budgeted to the maximum, to the, to the bubble levels of revenue, and right. then all of a sudden everything has to be cut back. So there needs to be a much more sensible fiscal governance that tries to get a lot more out of existing spending that tries to reform the tax code to be flatter, fairer, broader based of people and of economic activity. And that, I think, would be the start to solve the core of the problems. Of course, California is also last in bond ratings among the state right. because, states because of these fiscal issues. Right. Which is why uh, we're so focused uh, on this deficit and the immediate actions that the governor wants to take here. He wants to raise the state sales tax, which is already the nation's highest. You're talking about a third of the nation's welfare recipients living in that state. What is that actually going to do? Well, the impact well, if that the, happens? The Cali California already has the highest sales tax of any state, state sales tax, plus there's additional county and city add-ons. It had among the highest income tax rates, and the governor had originally proposed with this ballot initiative in November to raise it for five, the income tax rate's top rate, for five years to about 12.3 percent. Mm -hmm. uh, but he recently decided to make it worse for seven years to 13 percent by throwing in with the teachers' unions who want an even bigger so uh, income tax hike and even do? more money. But California needs to try to reform its systems, and there are many models for that. Rudy Giuliani in New York, Jeb Bush in Florida, uh, Chris Christie in New Jersey have made very, and many others. Andrew Cuomo, at least out of the gate, did some very good things in New York. He's backslided a bit lately. These, these are governors that reform systems to get better outcomes, better serve their citizens for, for less cost by introducing innovative, more market-based, mm -hmm. more competitive reforms that broke up the monopolies or the power of the monopolies and the entrenched bureaucracies that lead to very poor outcomes. I'll give you one statistic that is, sure, it's an extreme case, but it tells you how poorly okay. some California services work. California right. has a vast number of prisoners, but for each incarcerated inmate, the state yeah. sends more than the after-tax take-home pay of a whole California average family. That's amazing. So we've got we've got we've got a lot of we got a lot of spending that could be far more yeah. carefully targeted on the really needy, save a lot of money, do a better job, and live within our means. We got to follow this story, uh, Professor. Thank you so much, Michael Boskin, joining us there of the explanation of the challenges to California.